relax, he'll be here. been working with Danny? Eight or nine months. And they put you on this job. You come a long way, eight or nine months. Must be connected. What you looking for? You're nervous. First hit, right? So? What a way to make your bones. Whack out Joey Dollar. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? You're gonna have to film my shot today. You want your picture taken? Make an appointment with me, all right? I do this for a living. Stevie Calora, how you doing? Do I know you? I'm a friend of Vinny's. My brother? Yeah. Who are you? Oh. Dominic Cellini, you're from the neighborhood, yeah. What's the deal? Look, I want to talk to you about something. I'll buy you beer. No, nah, I got Prince Drain. I gotta get home. Look, I'll walk with you. It's important. Vinny, you say you check up on me, right? Hey, he's a little worried living in Greenwich Village with the hippies just back from Nam. Thought maybe you brought back some bad habits. Wrong. Vinny thought that he'd come down here himself and kick my butt. What do you want? I want you. I know about Nam. You got guys in narcotics haven't made as many busts in their whole careers as you made in one year in Nam. You want me to be a narc? Forget it. No. My beats the five New York mob families. Gambino, Colombo, Siaka, Lucchese, and Genovese. That's a lot of families. Must cost you a fortune in birthday cards. You don't communicate that much. 
That's why I'm talking to you. You want me to do it for you? Yeah. We need somebody inside. Someone Italian who grew up in the streets. Knows how to handle himself. What do you say? You think you got me figured, huh? You and me 20 years ago. Oh, yeah? I guess I don't have much to look forward to, huh? How do you stick with this gig? Come on, Kalora, I know you. You like to see how close to the edge you can get without falling off. Lean in the edge of Stephen Lewis. You got a deal? No. Whatever. When you get tired of asking babies to smile, give me a call. Ma lately? A couple of days ago. She seemed okay. Yeah, you should visit. Hey, she misses you. I'll see her on Sunday. It's busy, huh? Oh, yeah. Lunchtime's been great. Benny, don't forget breadsticks. Hey, I uh, ran into a friend of yours a couple days ago, Dom Cellini. Dom? Oh, yeah. Scott, right? Oh, big time. Yeah, big time. These straight arrows. He flying in his pockets. Hey, hey, what's up? You in some kind of trouble? No. Huh? I just couldn't get fixed out of that's all. Yeah, that's Cellini. You never know what that Paisan's thinking. I mean, he has more fun than the bad guys. You should hear the stories he tells, the things he's done. That is like a celebrity. I mean, wherever he goes, restaurants, clubs, the garden, they treat him like a VIP, and he don't have to schmear nobody. Come on. A cop with that kind of juice? He's honest? What's the deal? People want to be his friend, you know? They want to hear his stories, makes them feel like they're part of things. <laughs> I wouldn't want it, but... I guess it's an exciting life if you don't mind taking chances. Personally, I think you gotta be a little crazy. Yeah, sounds like it. And faithfully discharge the duties of a police officer in the New York City Police Department. And faithfully discharge the duties of a police officer in the New York City Police Department. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Clara, welcome to the force. Thank you, sir. Detective Cellini. Inspector. Take a good look, kid. That's the last you're gonna see of it for a while. So that's it, I'm a cop. New York's finest, but nobody knows except Akers, me, and you. Second thoughts? Cold feet? No, nah, fine. What about the rest of the guys in your unit? Even your paycheck comes out of a photo supply company in Jersey. Deposited straight into your bank. Any more questions? Yeah, what made you so sure about me? Just a feeling. Yeah. I'm you 20 years ago. Says the Undertaker, what'd she die of? Clap, the Undertaker says. You know, the clap. Get out of here, nobody dies from the clap. Oh, yeah, says the Undertaker. You do when you get with the fat Tony. <laughs> Yo, Stevie! Hey! 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 Good time, how you doing? Hey, old pal from the neighborhood, Stevie Kalura. We grew up together. So, what's with the camera? You look like a tourist. Still living in Brooklyn? No, no, I uh, moved out. My old man died when I was overseas. Yeah, I heard. Sorry. Thanks. Hey, I got a place in West Village. No, I'm a photographer now. Get out of here! Come on, I'll buy you a car. So you was in Vietnam, huh? I would have gotten in the army, but I got flat feet. How was it? I made it home, you know? Okay, I did. You know, you gotta get me one of these. It's great. So you making a dollar? Hey, I'm just starting out. You don't make a lot of money shooting weddings and baby pictures. Baby pictures? You do christening? Yeah, sure. I got this idea. It might do us both some good. You free Sunday? Yeah. OK, man. You're working. Remember what I said? Careful when you point that thing. A lot of people in here can get real touchy. Yeah, I know. I only take pictures of the women and the new kid. Right. Then I want you to make up a nice picture book for Skimon and his wife, OK? And send me the bill. 
It's Skimon's first grandchild. We're gonna make some points here. It's cool. He's with me. Mr. Skimon knows all about it. Yeah, okay. He's the photographer, okay? So hold her up. Hold him up. Hold him up, yeah. That's good. I'm gonna sneak around a little bit here. Try him out. Besides, he's a good kid. Just got out of the army. I like the way he handles himself. Yeah? Can you trust him? He's from the neighborhood. Grew up with him. I think he could use a few bucks. It's a war hero, Paulie. He's having a hard time. All right, give him a try. Good. Okay. That's real nice. Yeah, thank you. Stevie, I heard some good things. See you around. He likes you. He likes me. He looks like he wants to whack me. When he wants to whack you, he'll look like he loves you. So you getting some good pictures? Yeah, I think so. What you doing? I was just taking out the strobe. You know, it's got to recharge. Is that be fine? Look at him. Think. Danny! Business. Hey, get yourself a drink. I'll be right back. You know who this guy is? Yeah, that's that uh, Carmine Persico Colombo family. Danny introduced me to him. I mean the other guy. Huh? No. Judge Francis X. Herbert, New York Supreme Court, that's who. This here, Judge Maslow, Pellets Division. You know about him. Yeah, Danny said there's a lot of political heavies there. You know, guys on the take paying their respects. Oh, no. What's his name? Dunbar. Guy's a precinct captain in the Bronx. Damn. The inspector's gonna blow a stack when he sees this. Oh, sorry about that. Hey, it's not your fault. You did good. This stuff is gold. Piece of cake. Stevie, this isn't a piece of cake. You took a major risk doing this. Don't do it again. You get cocky in this business, you don't get old. Understand? Oh. Oh, pretty girl. Who is she? Oh, yeah, I didn't get a chance to find out. Good. You ain't there to socialize. An undercover cop can't afford to. Look, would you relax, Cellini? Come on, I'm in. In like Flynn, Danny says. I'm making the rounds with him tomorrow. Just take it slow, okay? Careful. Take it slow. Who is she? Huh? It's Maria. Forget about it. She's out of your league. Nice. You're doing good, kid. Lou's gonna like these. Come on, Brandon. What the hell are you? So what's his problem? Those is too much. 
Uh, Mama Luke thinks he's dealing with First National Bank here. So what, we, uh, we break his legs? It's like the movie, Steve. You don't break a guy's leg because he owes you money. He's in the hospital. How's he going to work? How's he going to pay? Oh, you just lean on him. Even think next time you don't pay his bills, you break his stupid neck. Right, here we go. You stay here. You keep him right. Hey, Brendan, where the hell's my money? How'd it go? <laughs> Great. He's a natural. That's good. <laughs> Not bad for the first day, huh? It's a piece of cake. Yeah, a piece of cake, huh? Come on. Come on, where? Calzone, you're buying. Code yellow, identify. We got a message for Amber. Message is code one, need a face to face. Uh, location five, 2300 hours. Back, please. Code one, face to face, 2300 hours. Location five. Clear? Huh? Yeah, yeah, clear. Yeah, yeah, her name's Maria. Yeah, her name's Maria. Maria, you know, Maria, like the song. You know, yeah, I, I met her at this Chris. Oh, wow, she's incredible. Marita, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't meet her, you see. She was holding the baby and I was taking the pictures. I didn't want to come under like the rest of the mooks, you know? But, uh, hey, hey, hey. She's here, she's standing right here, right in front of me. Maria, right? Say hello to my mother. Say hello. It's the dial tone. <laughs> yeah, she must have passed out. See, I never, uh, I never, I never called home about a girl I met before, you know? Very funny. Yeah, yeah, it's a good way to break the ice at the blowtorch. I'm Steve. Steve Kalura, you are? In a hurry. Maria, in a hurry. Hey, don't worry, my mom will love you anyway. What is it you want? A house in Unishel, three sons, a daughter, a cup of coffee. What do you say? Why should I have coffee with you? Just because you took my picture? No, um... because I gave it to you. So how about it? I'm paying for myself. Fine. If it makes you feel better, you can pay for me too. Look, it's easy for people at home to talk about the war like it was a history or something. Right and morally wrong, but I was there. I was in the middle of it. Guys were dying all around me. My friends were losing their lives. This is a really good conversation for us to be having on our first meeting. It's really classy. No, it's okay. I mean, it's certainly more interesting than the usual things I hear from guys. Well, anyway, I want to know about you. Why? I mean, I haven't done nearly the fascinating things you have. Maybe. But I want to know about the fascinating things that are going on inside of you. What do you mean? Eyes. People say a lot of things with their mouths, but their eyes tell the truth. I like what I'm hearing. I'd like to hear more. What are you doing? 
I think I've said enough for one day. <laughs> You're weird, you know that? Maria, whatever your last name is. Maria Capricoli. Now, my mother is gonna be thrilled. Oh, come on, I'm sure you know a lot of other Italian girls. Not like you. I have to go. That's it? We don't see each other again? Wednesday afternoons, I work at St. Genesius Church in Brooklyn. Wait, hey, hey, wait a second. Are you gonna be a nun? No, I work with the children there. Thank you, Lord. All right, listen, I want you to handle this one. Remember what I told you? The guy's name is Lerner? Learner. Learner. Right. Watch him. Thinks he's a tough guy. Yeah, it's a piece of cake. Didn't figure out this, did you, you punks? I was waiting for you. Look, Learner. Shut your face! You tell that Gambino scumbucket the Barney Learner don't pay no protection, you understand? I don't think that's such a good idea, Mr. Learner. I also don't think you should be insulting Mr. Gambino. What? Huh? I'm the one holding the gun, and you're telling me what to do? You're not gonna shoot anybody. If you do, you're gonna go to jail, or you're gonna end up in a Jersey swamp. Now, what's the percentage in that? Why don't you put the gun down? I'll put it down. I'll put it down your throat and blow your ass off! With the safety on. Now, I got the cylinder. It's not gonna fire. Use your head. Let it go, and nobody gets hurt. No. I'll let it go, you kill me. Nobody's gonna kill you. What's the point of that? You're a valuable customer. Let the gun go, and I promise you, hey, I promise you, I won't hurt you. Okay, have it your way. Ah! Uh, yeah, Danny, yeah, I'm handling this, okay? All right, I'm gonna take your first month's installment. No more, no less. All right? Let me pop him once, Stevie, just once. Danny, I promised Mr. Lerner that nobody was gonna hurt him, and I keep my promise. Hurt me? You broke my finger! Come on, it's not broken. It's just dislocated. Let me see it. Let me see it! Ah! Yeah, see? Try to bend it. Go ahead. It's good as new. Now you have a nice day. And we'll see you in a month, all right? So, what's the problem? I had to hurt somebody today. Yeah? Pain builds character. <laughs> Yo, well, I still don't like it. What if they ask me to whack somebody? Call me. What are you, give me a note? If we have to, we'll pull you out. Don't worry. We don't leave our people hanging. Pain builds character. It's a good thing you're not a doctor, Chilean. Would you buy yourself a dishwasher? I got a dishwasher. I also got a telephone. Some people don't know how to use it. Where'd you get $300? Taking pictures. Oh, who? That bum Danny? Ma, what is that supposed to mean? I hear what's going on. You know, people talk. Is that why you risked your life in Vietnam? So you could come home and be a punk? Ma, I made this money legit. I'm a successful photographer. Listen, Ma. I met a girl. She's Italian. So I know her family? I don't even know her family yet. When do I meet her? I'm working on it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right. Okay. Excuse me, Father. Yes, son, can I help you? Good day, Father. Maria Capofoli, is this where she works? Yes, but she's not here. Well, she said Wednesday. Maria had to leave early. Are, are you Steve? Yeah. She left this for you. 
She thought you might come. Her phone number. Why don't we walk, hmm? You see, I have known Maria since she came to this country. Did you know she was born in Italy? No. Well, she didn't mention it. Yes, well, there are many things that it's awkward for her to talk about. And please, don't think that I'm trying to interfere, but sometimes it helps to know things for us to make intelligent decisions. Yeah, sure. Is uh, there a problem? Well, that you will have to decide. Maria came to America after her own parents were killed. Since then, she has lived here with her godparents. See, I didn't know that either. I guess there's a lot I got to learn about her. Yes, and I think perhaps the most important thing to know before you call her is that her godfather, who is like a real father to her, his name is not Caprifoli. His name is Carlo Gambino. We cannot choose our families. I hope in time Maria will choose her own life. Yes. So if you should decide not to call, she will understand. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Just checking they ain't wired. Yeah, it's cost me 10 bucks. You ain't wired, are you? Have a nice evening. Lovely flowers. I think you should have seen them before they were strip searched. Pretty, can you put these in some water for me? Yeah, sure. See you later. But not too much later. Hey, I'm over here. I'm just not used to double dating with three guys and one girl. Really? Didn't realize you were so old-fashioned. I know, it's a bit of a drag. But that's just my family. Hey, at least we don't have to worry about getting mugged, right? So, you haven't mentioned, how's the photography going? Fine. Uh, nothing a couple of weddings won't fix. But you're sticking with it. Oh, yeah, hey, what else is there for me to do? Well, you could always go to work for the Gambino family. You didn't think I would find out? I didn't know you were a part of this. I'm not. I'm just the goddaughter, but... when Poppy hears I'm going on a date, he wants to know who with. And people check around. Does it bother you? What you do for a living is your business. That you didn't tell me, yes. I didn't know who you were at first, not until I talked to Father and Salvo. I didn't want you thinking that I was trying to get ahead through you. Did you believe me? You just too still up front? Yeah. Why? I think we should ditch him. What? Give me our car keys. You think these guys get a thrill out of watching us eat spaghetti? If you don't want to be tailed, talk to Don Carlo about that. Don't take it out on these two chumps. Okay, I guess you want me to take you home now. No. I believe you. You believe what? That you didn't ask me out just to help your career. Thank you. Thank you. Salute. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Thanks for not letting me be a brat. <laughs> I had a really good time. Me too. Maybe we can do it again sometime. Just the four of us. <laughs> I'd love to. Good night. Thank you.
Jonathan, Jonathan. Colombo's going ahead with the Italian-American rally in spite of your wishes. What shall we do? Nothing for now. About the Kalura kid. I had a man break into his apartment yesterday. So? Nothing. But he's got this book, this album, full of pictures of Maria. What else? I checked with our friends downtown. He's not on any police payroll. I think he's legit, Don Carlo. I also think he's in love. Upset? No. I'm feeling these feelings and I don't want to mess up. You won't. <laughs> I've never been with a woman like you before. It's never been like this for me either. saying we're meant for each other? I think it's time you should meet my family. Papi wants you to come to dinner Sunday. For me? Dinner with Carlo Gambino? Well, just think of him as my father. Well, that's supposed to make me feel relaxed? What if he doesn't like me? Well, I did go out with this one guy Papi didn't care for, but nobody's seen him around for a long, long time. <laughs> This is my family, Carlo and Catherine Gambino. A pleasure to meet you, Steve. Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Gambino. Colora, a Siciliano, no? My dad was from Sicily, Palermo. And you are from Palermo. Don Carlo. Uncle Paul, this is my friend, Steve Colora. This is my uncle, Paul Castellano. I think you're going to want to see this. Today, the Italian-American Civil Rights League picketed the New York offices of the FBI. Now, to understand why, we have with us the founder of the Civil Rights League, Joseph Colombo. Mr. Colombo, how can a man reputed to be the head of a mafia family complain of unfair yeah, media treatment? You look at this guy. Image? You know, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, mafia, mafia. Well, where the hell is this mafia? I mean, books, movies, TV. There ain't no mafia, and I ain't no head of no family, except my wife and kids. And I'm a real here? estate salesman is what I am. My God, this is and too much attention here. This guy is going to destroy us with all this. This is suicide here, Don Carlo. We got to do something here. Basta, Colano, basta. Credimi, basta. Senta. I'm a real estate salesman is what I am. And I ain't just concerned about this myself. This guy has no problem. I'm concerned about all the Italian Americans out there. He's gonna a watch this cuff on anyway. Put something no, else on. My parents were great, proud Americans. I'm sorry, Maria. Steve, come with me. I want to show you my flowers. Come on. Back in Sicily. Maria's mother and father were my good friends. I held her at a baptism when she was a little baby. But she was beautiful. And then, the mother and her father were killed. A veneta. Maria was left all alone. So I brought her to this country. I wanted her to grow up in peace. I have many godchildren. They live here. But Maria, she lives here. Oh. A lot of young men are after Maria. And why not? She's 
beautiful. She's intelligent. She's well connected. She's a good catch for somebody like you. Hmm? If that's what you think, I'll quit working for you right now and go back to taking pictures. No, that's not what I mean. Maria is going to have to share you with me because I got two families. And you've got a place and a future in both. And I pledge my loyalty to both. Loyalty? My father used to say, without loyalty, we are like the animals. Your father was right. And now you've got a family that's loyal to you. And that loyalty is more important than your own life. It doesn't make sense. Two months ago, you were a part-time soldier. Now you're chauffeuring the capos, having heart-to-hearts with Gambino. Something's wrong. I don't understand you. You bring me in because you think I can do the job. I do the job, then you give me a hard time. I'm responsible for your safety. Maybe I should pull you out. Out of the family? You can't do that. Oh? Why not? There's something you're not telling me? Like what? I don't know. It's getting too risky. Well, that's why you brought me in. I'm the guy that likes to live on the edge. Like you need me. And I need this. Mm -hmm. So, I got myself an adrenaline junkie. Yeah, you gonna leave me there? Joey Gallo gets out of the joint tomorrow. And some people are gonna get dead. We need all the help we can get. That's the only reason I'm leaving you in there. So I run into Joey Gallo, I should thank him. You run into crazy Joey. Keep running. You don't wanna know how we earned that name. Trust me, Stevie. There's gonna be blood on the streets. I just don't want any of it to be yours. Gallo has come to pay his respects. Don Carlo, thank you for seeing me. Joey Gallo, Joey. Ben, ben. It's been too long. Eight years, hard time. Omerta, nanti saccio, nanti vitti. Deaf and dumb. I didn't rat nobody out. As you have sworn, so you did. A lot of people swore a lot of things. Like Joey Colombo, he swore that he was going to protect my operation until I got out, and what does he do? Steals from me. Rapes me. <laughs> so what do we do, Joey? Do you want to appeal to him? Appeal to him? Yeah, beg him for what's already mine? The guy's a bug. He belongs on all fours in front of me begging me. Me beg him? I hate victims who respect their executioners. Sartre about that. Eight years, Don Carlo. A lot of time to read. A lot of time to figure out who screwed you. So, Joey, you're not the only one. <laughs> All of us are threatened by Colombo's speeches. Doc Carlo. Maybe it's time that Colombo stops making these speeches. Hi, this is Dino DeTosti in from Boston. He's currently under a federal indictment for labor racketeering. Hey, Dom, how you doing? Is the photos from last night? Yeah. It's supposed to be just a patriarchal wedding party over in Bayonne, but we got capos here from all over. Okay, Jack. Chicky Bavon, two weeks out of Leavenworth. What happened to his hair? Well, word is he lost his toupee in the joint in a crap can. <laughs> okay. Now, this is Gambino's goddaughter, Maria Capofoli. Does anybody recognize the guy she's with? No, oh, new one on me. It just slipped your mind you've been dating the boss's daughter for three months? It's got nothing to do with us. Well, it's strictly personal. Personal? You're a cop. Yeah, and a damn good one, too. I'm getting stuff nobody's ever got before, not even you. Stevie, what are you thinking? Gambino's gonna let you walk away with his princess? One day, you're gonna be strolling down the aisle wearing a tuxedo. The only tuxedo you're gonna be wearing is in a pine yeah, box. Don't worry about it, all right? We'll find a way out. I remember that song. That's from West Side Story. This ain't a musical, Stevie. When you get a knife in the gut, you don't come out for a curtain call. Hey, that would make you happy, wouldn't it? Prove you were right, huh? I don't need to prove nothing. I've been there. 
And I know you can't keep this stuff separate. Maybe you can't, but I can. I promise you I'll do you a job, and I'm doing it. I can promise you my life. Sandry's not bad either. Central Park. Well, I wanted you to know there's more to life in the city. <sighs> we can live out here someday. In the country? Here. Out west. We have a ranch. A ranch? What would you do on a ranch? What would I do on a ranch? Well, what's the matter, right? We find something. Right? As long as we're together, right? What is it? It's the job, right? So be a photographer. Are you afraid Poppy wouldn't approve? Don't you know that whatever makes me happy makes him happy? We'll still be there. We can never get away. Why would we want to? Poppy saved my life. I can't leave. And there is loyalty, and I know you feel the same way because he told me what you said. Maybe you're just getting cold feet and you want to go west without hey, me. Don't even joke. I don't want anybody without you. Park the car, then come inside. Don Carlo wants you to meet him. Me? Hey, something the matter, Mr. Castellano? Relax, kid. It's a big honor. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Keep your ears open and your mouth shut. So, gentlemen, like I was saying, we told the cops we ain't having nothing to do with Joey Colombo's Italian-American civil rights stuff. And, Don Carlo, I put the word out. No businesses are closed for Colombo's rally. Va bene. Tutto bene, grazie. Grazie. Va bene. 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 Va And what are the um, young men on the street saying? Don Carlo, it's not my place. I'm asking you. So it is your place. Mostly the Joe Colombo thing, all the noise he's making. Plus, with Joey Gallo back in town, everybody's tense. You know this um, Joe Colombo Italian American day? It's awkward for me. I disapprove, so I can't be there. I want to ask you, could you go there and you be my eyes and my ears? Would you do me that favor? Don Carlo, absolutely. Good. And then you come back and we talk, all right? And how are things with you? Great. I'm learning a lot. And with you and Maria? It's terrific. I'd, uh, with your permission, Don Carlo, I'd like her to meet my family. Sure. Thank you, Don Carlo. Thanks.
My wife and I would like to know. What's a beautiful girl like you doing with a bum like him, huh? Oh, I know he promised to take your picture, make you a big movie star, huh? I'm not an actress. I'm studying to be a teacher. Yeah, smart guy. Special education at NYU. She works with the kids at St. Genesius. That's nice. And you grew up in Brooklyn? Yes, but I was born in Italy. You're first generation. I'm first generation also. Stephen here is second generation, aren't you, Stephen? Stephen? Your folks still live in Brooklyn? Well, actually, my parents died when I was very young, and I was raised by my godparents. Oh. I knew some Capriffolis over in Queens. Very nice people. My godparents are Catherine and Carlo Gambino. <clears throat> Before you say anything... Look, Steve, I can make this real easy for you. I don't want easy. No? Good. Then the hell with what your family thinks. All that matters is us. Yeah, that's right. I'll tell them that. But be sure to tell them that we'd love to have them at our wedding. You do want to marry me, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the Columbus Circle thing. He wants me to be his eyes and his ears. Yeah. Damn, it's Paul Raggio. He sees me. I'll call you later. Hey, Petey, is Maria there? Yeah, just tell her I called. How you doing? Chloe, you live around here, don't you? Yeah, right there. Your phone out of order? No. Why? Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. No, I just didn't want to take a chance it was bugged. Who the hell's going to bug you? I'm just trying to learn from you guys, you know, doing the smart thing. Yeah? So, who are you calling that you don't want the FBI to hear? Maria Caprifoli. You didn't talk long. She wasn't home. I'll call her later. Yeah, you do that. Petey, yeah. you on the phones tonight? Yep. Anybody call the last hour? Steve Kalora called from Maria about a half hour ago. She wasn't here. Any problem? No, no problem. Again, this late-breaking story. Joseph Colombo, reputed head of the Colombo crime family and leader of the Italian-American Civil Rights League, was shot this afternoon at the Unity Day rally in Columbus Circle. First reports indicate that his okay, assassin was allowed. killed at the scene by unknown parties. Colombo's condition is listed as critical. You heard. What did you see? Everything. They're just getting ready to start. Columbo's, uh, he's talking to people, he's shaking hands. This black guy's following him around, taking pictures for about 10 minutes. All of a sudden, he drops his camera, he pulls out his piece, pop, pop, pop! Puts three in Columbo's head. And the one with the gun? No, he's dead. Somebody whacked him out right away. I, I couldn't see who. It was crazy, there was people running around screaming. Why some black guy want to hit Joe Columbo? We heard he was in the joint with Joey Gallo. Well, Colombo isn't dead. He's gonna be a vegetable. Yeah, maybe somebody should plant them in a garden. Steve, you have done very well. Tante grazie. Thank you, Don Carlo. And now, 
We have a special dedication for Mr. and Mrs. Steve Kalura. Badly, your handshake when you signed us in. Oh, it's like you're not nervous about spending the night. We're engaged, and anyway, it's time I knew he snored. <laughs> Does that guy will know where you are. <laughs> yes. I must trust you a lot. Me, a little. You, completely. you know how much he cares for you? Does that bother you? No. I just don't ever want to let him down. Why would you? Hmm? This is Kalura. I would like to dance. To a married, I understand. No. It's not the reason. Is it me? Do you remember our first date? And I told you that I knew you were working for the family, but that it was okay. And that I didn't care what you did as long as you were being honest with me. Yeah. Well, I wasn't being honest with you. Because now I'm looking at the rest of my life and what you do. It does matter. It does. Look, I have a confession to make to you. I haven't been completely honest with you. What is it? It's a business, a family business. It's not something I intend to do forever. Do you mean that? Yeah, I've been thinking about it for a while. I just wasn't sure how you feel about it. You know, I think maybe we should wait till we're married. I kind of like the idea of marrying a virgin. Absolutely not, Cellini. You are not pulling him out, and that is an order. Inspector, he's engaged again being those goddaughter. 
He's my undercover, and I gotta read about in the damn paper? So what? He didn't get invited to the party? We have never had anybody this close to the top. He has given us gold, Cellini. Gold. The dumb bastard's gonna get himself killed. He's a cop, isn't he? He knows the risks. Besides, you told me yourself, he likes to play it right to the edge. Yeah, but this time he's gone over, and I'm the one who's gotta get him out. Fine, but not yet. They say Gallo's got a lion in a basement over on President Street. A lion? You're joking. A lion, lion. I'm serious. Two of Colombo's guys, Danny Otto and Phil Torrio, went missing. The uh, rumor is that they got a one-way ticket to the Gallo Zoo. So Joey's not being a nice boy, huh? <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, not good. The Lucchese family got a tip from City Hall. NYPD has slipped a cop into one of the families. Which family? We don't know. Yet. All right. No business? Your tight little ship is trying to leak. They know about me. Relax. They don't know squat. How they gonna? Why? It's just a lineup. Oh, my God, Raz, you with her. You know, we made a mess. Did you ever see you eat with uh, chopsticks? There was you never eat here. Well, they're eating here now. Got any ideas? They see us, you just tell them that you're my brother. Mm mm. Problem. I've busted Castellano twice. Then I mean, what are we gonna do? Where are you going? phone call. We got about 60 seconds. We're gonna eat that shrimp. Hey, did you hear Joey Gallo got married yesterday? I paid money to hear him say till death Did you check out that lion story? Mm-hmm. The basement on President Street. And what are you doing about it? What? Call the ASPCA? From when I hear it ain't starving. All right, people. I want you to grab your belongings. Hold the bomb squad. First chance you get out the back. Keep your head down and hit the streets running. All right, please just get up and move along. Come on. Now, I clean up after the mouth of police. So don't stay here too long, eh? I don't want the sweepies away. What's he doing here? That's a good question. Sleep. I thought you'd be home earlier. Yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. Work. Uh, I mean, what's the matter? I just remembered a dream I had. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Ray, what is it? You haven't changed your mind, have you? About the family business and all that. Things we discussed? No. 
I'll speak to Dunk Island this Sunday when we go to the house for dinner. Good. What was your dream? It's gone. Where to, Mr. Castellano? I'm just moving. Take a little ride, okay? Past the street. Yeah, you got it. You uh, live in the village, don't you? Where you hang out with these hippies, these flower children? You don't hang out with them. Who do you hang out with? Take a left. Pull over and stop. Hang out with Joey Gallo. He lives in the village too. No, I never even met him. Yeah, it's a crazy bastard. Threatening war with the Columbus. Whacking out guys without permission. You know, we don't do that sort of thing anymore. And after tomorrow, neither will Joey Gallo. Going to the movies? Nope. I gotta work tonight. Is everything okay? Yeah. I wanna take a picture. The two of us. Right now? Yeah. I'm a mess. I've been in school all day. Can we do it this weekend? No. Why not? Because, uh, I need instant gratification. Oh, yeah? Good thing all you want is a picture. <laughs> Come here. You know, you're usually not this strange. Strange? What's strange? I was looking through all the pictures that I got of you, and there wasn't one of us together. You were looking through all my pictures? Yeah. It's very sweet. Or did you forget what I looked like? No, I didn't forget what you looked like. No, you won't either. Joey Gallo, you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. It's tomorrow night. Where? Fairless Clam House. There's two cars. I'm driving back up. Congratulations. My ass is on the line here. What do I do? I'll get back to you. It's tomorrow night. I said I'll get back to you. I'll get back. Would you calm down? All right, five minutes, then you leave. Yo, Stevie, want some fries? Relax, he'll be here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I hope you guys haven't been waiting long. 
até galera. Next light, make another left. Pull into this alley up here. Slow down. Okay, stop here. Keep the engine running, but turn your lights off. Put you on this job. You come a long way, eight or nine months. Must be connected. What you looking for? He's nervous. First head, right? So? What a way to make your bones. Whack on out Joey Gallo. When's he supposed to get here? Right after the Copa closes. It's his birthday. He's having a party. Happy birthday, Joey. It's the birthday boy. On bodyguard, you're getting careless, Joey. Relax, kid. We're just back up. We have to go in. I'll take Joey and the kid. You take the bodyguard and the friends. What? You gonna hit the kid? What's the matter? She reminds you of your sister. Just business, kid. Nothing personal. Make it fast. Where is he? He's supposed to be here. Where's my backup? I'm here all by myself. Hold on. I'll try and find him. I can't him. hold on. You're supposed to be here. Where is everybody? This thing's going down any minute now. Hold on. I don't like it. Go get him. Zero two zero? Yeah, yeah. Can't locate Amber. I'll give him your message. Huh? 
Next time, piss your pants. Start the car, kid. Something we don't, huh? Move it, kick, move it. Gallo. Bodyguard was also hit, and he's on the way to the hospital. Anybody else? No, nobody else. Right. Anything? Not since the panic call. You want me to make some fresh? Please. It's gonna be a long night. Morning. Morning. Uncle Paul, is Poppy up yet? No, Don's still asleep. We're waiting for him. Uncle Paul, do you know where Steve is? He was supposed to call me this morning. Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't know where he is. You know how it is. A guy gets tied up in the job. Don't worry, he'll show up. Terrible. Terrible. I, for one, am shocked. He's dead. We don't know that. It's been over four hours. He'll call. I'm sure he will. He's dead. Tell yet. We're not sure, Don Carlo, but it looks bad. You can't find him. Well, he dropped the button men off in Brooklyn and took off. All right. You find him. But no harm is to come to him until I'm sure. You understand? See, Don Carlo, I understand. Don, we've been at this for 48 hours. Nothing. Not a silch. Look, he's been whacked. Maybe it ain't Gambino. What if some of Gallo's boys saw him at the hit? Right. Larry, get your butt over to Gallo's place on President Street, Code 3. Find out if that line's been fed lately. All right, the rest of you, gloves are off. Stop fully in the wise guys. Somebody's got to know something. Where's Maria? Is she coming? I sent Ranchi over to Charles Street, to the kids' apartment. The place is swarming with cops. That proves nothing. Don Carlo, the cops are turning the town inside out. They're dragging our guys off the street. You know as well as me, they only work this out for one of their own. I ain't saying nothing until I see my lawyer. Jack, Larry, will you excuse us? Mr. Ranchi will be going to have a little chat. Molly, stop. How you doing? I ain't doing nothing. And I ain't saying nothing until I see my lawyer. Good idea. 
You can have him draw up your will. He's alive. Just a second. How do you know? Gambino's looking for him just as hard as we are. Well, then why doesn't he come in and let us protect him? That's a serious question, Inspector. I got a man out there somewhere who's alone and terrified. He doesn't know which side he's on anymore. Why? Because he's thinking we screwed him. That's why. I told him I'd be there. Couldn't be avoided, Cellini. <sighs> Where the hell are you? <laughs> Hello. Steve, I know who you are now. Who you really are. Except I don't really know who you are. Why you did this to me. You loved me, so I don't understand. Damn you. I was trying to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm hanging up now. We got him. Location six, 1700 hours. Come alone. You couldn't have it any other way. Yeah, I'm still alive. Also, accessory to murder what? No way. You're on the job. Nobody's gonna file charges. Who yeah, says who? Me. You. Huh? The guy who says everything was under control. We don't leave our people hanging. Now you just throw their lives out with the trash. Life, Stevie, that's not your life. They're the bad guys, remember? You're a cop. Nobody ever figured it usually in the galleries. Sometimes even we get lucky. They're calling a grand jury to indict Gambino. So, but, but I'm your star witness. What do you think? That's it? That's why you didn't show up? You want a gal wasted then I testify against Gambino and, and you get them both? Don't even think that. And for God's sakes, don't ever say it. They'll chew you up and spit you out in a million pieces. Stevie, you go near and now, you're a dead man. Hey, well, maybe I deserve that, the things I've done. After you testify, I'm putting you in witness protection. Hey, not. I could spend the rest of my life in Doorknob, Wisconsin. What life? You go it alone, you think Gambino won't track you down? At least he never lied to me. I think he never sold me out. You think that's what I did? Huh? I'll see you around. Hey, you're still a cop. There's gonna be a grand jury, and you have to appear. Fine. Well then, don't try to find me. But you took no active part in the shooting. No, sir. What exactly did you see, Detective Kalura? The first shots were fired inside the restaurant, so I only heard those. Uh, I saw Joey Gallo stumble out into the street. The hitman followed him out, shot him again, killed him. And this murder was carried out by the Gambino crime family, correct? I don't know. You don't know? I'd never seen any of the hitmen before, so I don't know if they were a member of a family. 
Ah. But the orders came from Carlo Gambino. Isn't that correct? I don't know that either. Carlo Gambino didn't ask you to drive the car that night? No, sir. He never told you that Joey Gallo was to be murdered? No, sir. Detective Kalura, how long did you work undercover in the Gambino crime family? Since last October. And, and during that time, you formed a friendship with Carlo Gambino, a close friendship? It was part of my job. So close. Uh, in fact, you were engaged to marry his goddaughter, right? Yeah. She had nothing to do so with... So close, in fact, that you might be persuaded to forget certain things he said or did. Isn't that true? Carlo Gambino never told me that Joey Gallo had to be killed. He never asked me to kill him. He never asked me to drive any car that had anything to do with killing him. That's the truth. And it's also true that when I knew the hit had been planned, I informed my superiors at OCCB, and they told me not to worry. They told me that everything was under control. They told me that Thank I... Thank you, Detective. That'll be all. How did it go? Oh, beautiful. Your star witness gave me nothing. Gambino's gonna walk. Thanks, Cellini. Nice doing business with you. Can I help you, officer? 